Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be filming today. Um, it's kind of a last minute filming. I just got the energy and the urge to film, so that's why I'm here. And I just thought I would talk about what kind of materials I like to have in my office. I also went through some questions and answered some questions that you left on my profile and talked about how my day went today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're interested in hearing more. Thanks. I can't for the life of me explain to you why I would choose to film right this minute. Number one, I have a meeting in eight minutes. And number two, I got, I went to the dentist this morning. So like this whole area of my face is numb. And I think I just put some lipstick on and it feels so weird. <laughs> so I don't know why I decided right now is the moment to film. When you get the urge, you do it. I am just wanting to chat a little bit about my day, but also show you guys a few things that I like having handy as a school psychologist working virtually. Today, so far, I have had an SST meeting, which is kind of, it's like um, MTSS or RTI. So I met with a parent who actually joined. I didn't know there was gonna be a parent joining, which is honestly one of my biggest pet peeves when someone doesn't let you know. It can sometimes feel like an ambush, but it was really good. The parent's awesome, and I was glad to meet her. So I um, had an SST meeting, and then I went to the dentist and got my face all numbed up and got a filling, and I hate the dentist, but I did it, and I'm proud of myself. And then I came back and started doing some clerical and like eval planning, so I've been updating my planner. I also stopped and got some file folders when I was out. So oh, these have been the files I've been using from Target and they're just like a cute color. So I've been meaning to go to Target to get some, but instead I went to Walmart and just got some plain ones. I'm like really spending way too much time thinking about what files I want to use. So there's so many things that I have on my desk. I need to get organized. Also, did I finish explaining what my meeting was about in five minutes? After I film this, um, I'm going to my monthly psych meeting, which is like, I have a few different psych teams right now because I'm a contractor. I have a psych team that works like all over the country and they're virtual school psychs just like me. And I meet with them once a month. I work for my contract company and then the contract company placed me in this one bigger district who placed me in a small rural district. The district that I work with most is a small rural district, but I have a meeting right now with the middle company. So the bigger, the bigger district that placed me in the smaller district. I hope this is making sense. That's what I'm gonna hop over to next. And then I'll probably start filming again. And then I will do report writing and I have to do some more planning. Okay, so where do we wanna start? I already told you about the files that I like. One of these, so important. It's just like plain white out. I got this because it's pink, but honestly, it's not my favorite brand. But I always need a little white out. Highly recommend that. Oh, these are so cute. I got these from CVS. They are little clips, paper clips with little puff balls on the end. I set them on this little dish that I made. And I like to use them in my stack of files. So here's the stack of files. No identifying information will be shown, but I also have this um, little clear case and I keep this stack of files on my desk and then I'll put the little like puff balls on the evals that I'm currently working on or like the most um, time pressing evals, things like that. So I love that clear case. I love the puff balls. Need good headphones to be a school psychologist virtually. Another thing that you would absolutely need if you're a virtual school psychologist, and especially if you're using Presence Learning, which is the platform that my district uses, is a dot camera. My contract company sent me my dot camera and they picked it out. This is the Hue dot camera and I actually really like it. So you can get this on Amazon, I believe. That's where they got it from. You'll need a printer if you're a virtual school psychologist and the printer I have, oh my gosh, don't look at my mouth. Epson. Um, this is like an eco printer, so it's kind of cool. The ink is like in these bottles instead of little cartridges. So it's supposed to last longer and be easier to refill and stuff like that. So you would need a printer. You need a good laptop. I love having my laptop that also my company purchased for me. Um, it's a touchscreen laptop and it's pretty big. So I wanted to get one that's like 
11 or more inches. I don't know how many. This might be 13 inches or something. I don't have a desktop, so this is a screen I look at all day long, and I really like it, and I, it's touch screen, so it helps me with sometimes um, like scrolling through data and things like that. I only have one more minute, so what else could I fit? A pink stapler and a good planner. This is my planner. This is the self-care planner. It's real cute. I'll get back to this. I have to go to my meeting because I don't know why I chose to do this. BRB. My mouth is killing me, guys. It's so funny. Also, I'm starving. And I can't eat because I don't want to bite my lip off. Okay, I'm waiting to enter this meeting. scheduled for next week okay i don't have a meeting Woo! back to my planner love this planner you have this like blank page it's like dot dotted which i like and then you have your weekly page and this is what i start every monday Ooh, i just got a text from my contract company let's see what she said oh my gosh okay so i mean this is all over the place um so I got an offer to come back to the same district next year. And so that means that middle company and my little district wants me back. So they contacted my contract company and offered me a job for next year. And I've been loving this district, which just feels so good because that was not the case for a lot of my early career. I mean, this is still very much my early career. I had a rough start. I mean, I started right during COVID, which sucks but I started during COVID schools were really tense schools still are very intense and there's a lot going on but I've just felt found that like virtual school psychology has offered me such a better life balance and I'm happier I feel more calm I feel peaceful it's stressful still like I have a lot of cases but it just offers just a different lifestyle and I really love it I mean I can go out and garden spend time with my dogs, cook meals, every meal from home. It's been really good. So I'm really happy that the district wants me back because I also want to come back and I will be. Love that. I have to do a little bit more planning to show what else I like. I feel like this is kind of a, a fly by your, the seat of your pants video. What else is new, right? But let me answer some questions that y'all have. <laughs> every time I close my mouth, it looks like that. Someone said, I think it'd be really helpful if you made a video explaining the virtual school psych role and how it differs from a traditional role. I have a few questions. What made you decide to switch to a virtual role? So the reason why I switched to a, a virtual role, to be honest, is in Indiana, I was working for a very small rural district an hour and a half away. So I would drive like three hours a day for work. And I was getting paid extremely low wage um, to the point where I was struggling financially, even though, I mean, I have a good career and a lot of education and I was just struggling to figure out what I wanted. I mean, I've made a few career changes since I started school psychology. Um, I left Denver, Colorado, which is where I was trained. That's where all my knowledge came from um, in that I worked for a very big district. And it was really intense as well. And then I moved to this very small district. So the complete opposite. And I was just like, where do I fit in? Do I like this job? I'm burnt out already and it's only been a few years. And um, so I started looking into virtual school psychology because I live in also a rural area. And all I want is just a peaceful, calm life where I can cook all my meals and grow veggies and flowers and you know, not be feeling like I'm a machine going all day long. Specifically was most stressed about, I heard that our virtual school psychology, you wouldn't have like health insurance and I need health insurance. I heard like you're a 1099 employee and I didn't want that. And so I started looking into options that had the things I wanted. So I started looking for a company that offered health insurance that was a W-2 employer. And I started applying to those. And so I do have health insurance and I am a W-2 employee, so I don't have to worry about taxes the same way. 
found a company that fits for me and then they started looking for districts who were hiring school psychologists all around the country and I found a position in Oregon so I don't even work in the state the same state that I'm living in um, and it's just been such a great change. What are the pros and cons of being a virtual school psychologist? Um, the pros and cons there's a lot of pros, a lot of pros. Like for me right now, everything feels like a pro. My pay is extremely better. Um, my work-life balance is so much better. I'm a lot happier. I work from home, so I'm not commuting. And that means like even down to like environmental impact, I'm not putting out gas into the environment to commute to work. Um, I can spend more time with my dogs and be at home, cook all my meals, take care of my chickens, do the things I really want to do in life while also doing the job that I'm really passionate about. I actually just like really enjoy the model of virtual school psychology. So I'm loving that I feel like very independent and I can organize how I want and I make a lot of my own schedules. And it's a new budding area of school psychology. So I feel excited about being like one of the pioneers of this new field and to kind of teach about it and talk about it as I learn about it. So some of the cons are, um, I can't say everybody, but a lot of the times if you are employed by a contract company, they do not count as public student loan forgiveness, which is a big deal. However, I think I've made this decision that I don't really want to have to wait 10 years to pay off my loans and like to just feel like I'm tied to the public school system when I've already seen how hard it's been for myself. I don't want to be tied down for 10 full years to work full time and make every payment in order to get loans forgiven when that doesn't feel like a promise. Like I've heard people not getting approved and things after 10 years. So one of the cons for sure is that you don't get student loan forgiveness if you're working um, in not a public sector. And so it, and that's unfortunate because I'm serving kids who are in public schools, right? But I'm employed by a contract company. So that's one of the drawbacks. Another drawback is there are a lot of people who don't understand virtual school psychology. There's a lot of people in schools who don't trust it and they have a negative opinion or view of it. And so when you're doing the job, you're constantly having to advocate and explain, teach about it. Um, and you'll come across like parents and other educators who talk down on it or act like it's not as good of a service. So like I've had um, people complain and think that they're not getting as good as evaluations. And I'm like, no, I'm fully a certified school psychologist, nationally certified school psychologist, um, licensed in your state, in other states. And I can promise you that the practice I'm doing right now, I'm doing, I'm making just as much, much of an effort and our virtual sessions with kids are going so smoothly and I'm still making the same, I'm not, I'm still building the same report with students and they're still getting a very, very similar assessment process. Even, I'd like to say, some kids are actually doing really well with virtual testing, but they're, because they're so used to virtual school, they're used to be on laptops, they're, they're used to be on iPads, they're used to computers. So it honestly is not a huge shift. I mean, they do um, like statewide testing on computers too. So it's, it's, it's very good. There's a lot of practice that comes with it. Which brings me to my next point is there is a huge learning curve to uh, administering assessments virtually. But I can say from experience that once you get it down, it's wonderful. It took, I would say two months for me to start feeling really confident in my assessment giving skills virtually. But the more you practice, the more smooth it becomes and it becomes easier each time. And I truly like, as a school psychologist, I don't question the validity of my assessments. And I think that's really cool. Someone mentioned block design. I feel like I would need to do like a full, I don't know if I um, fully, also do you see like this part of my lip? It's like the muscle is trying so hard to work and it feels really funny. Um, I would have to do like a very in-depth talk about block design because I have a lot of feelings about it. All school psychs who are virtual, I feel like have a little bit of a different opinion on it. At the moment, I'm not giving block design virtually. I'm finding other ways to get the visual index or to get the FSIQ. But it definitely is possible to do block design virtually. I just don't know how I feel about it fully. So I think that that is all I have for this video. Sorry, it was a little bit confusing, but that is... um my brain i had the impulse to start um filming so i did without a single plan <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you come back to watch some more and leave more questions in the comment section and i will get back to them as soon as i can i hope you have a great day thank you bye